Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It's been a while. Uh, I've been under the weather, but we are back. Uh, it's good to be back. Um, we're going to get into Thurman and the Ugas for the WBC interim title. Uh, the winner of that will be in line to fight the winner of Spence Crawford, but you know the winner of the two will never happen, obviously. Um, at least if the Ugas and Spence win, it won't happen again. Um but we'll get into all that. But before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Quick hits comes at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day, to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Uh, please also subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. All right, let's get into today's show. Um, Ugas and, 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 and Keith, uh, once every three years, Thurman, are close to meeting up in August. It's not official yet, but it, it, we're close. It looks like this is going to happen. Uh, for the WBC interim title in, in, in August, um, and this is not Thurman versus Spence. This is a realistic chance, a good chance, that this is actually going to happen at 147, not at 154. Um, it's a good fight. Um, you know, I, I thought, you know, had issues with Keith Thurman, you know, not personally, great dude, but professionally, um, you know, when he would have said he wouldn't fight Spence and then with the inactivity, um, you know, he, he's only fought a handful of times in five years or so, right? You go back, you look at his box rec. He fought Danny Garcia over five years ago. Since then, he's fought three times. So he's fought three times in five years, you know, and, and it's been a year and a half again since he's been in the ring and it was a year and a half before that, and you know, and then he had after you know 2017, he had almost a two-year layoff. Um, if you go in a little deeper, um, you know, he's 30 and one. Uh from 2016 on, so that's seven years, he's fought five times. And that's the that's the prime of his career, which he's given away. He's given away the prime of his career. He could have had a chance to be one of the great welterweights of all time. He really could have. Um and he, and he, and he gave that away, and that's his choice. Uh, but then when he says he wants to be the best, and says, no, you don't. And, which, and that's fine. That was your choice. You wanted to do other things. You got married. That's fine. But this all came out of sacrifice, you know, for that. That was your priority. Be- being the best welterweight of your era, being one of the best welterweights of all time, was not your priority. about that y'all all right is that better all right um so he last fought february of 2022 and he uh outclassed mario barrios over 12 pretty one-sided rounds barrios rallied a little bit of uh, time to time but mostly it was a, a keith thurman show and i think keith thurman is, is spectacular he's got the, the power um is that the speed he's got the legs he, he, he's got a pretty high ring iq i wish he had a little more um, and, and Ugas is so good. Um, I, I'm leaning towards them just because I, I think Ugas is the worst for wear. Um, I, I think he's been through one too many tough ones. And I think he's more on the back side, on the back nine than Keith Thurman is. Um, so I'm leaning towards Thurman. But this, this is a great fight. Unfortunately, the winner of this fight will certainly not fight the winner of Thurman, uh, the winner of Spence Crawford for the WBC welterweight title or the Undisputed World title or what have you. That's certainly not going to happen. So, What's going to happen is Thurman's going to fight. Uh, Crawford's going to fight Spence, the winner. I had changed my mind every day on that. The winner is going to rematch with loser, so they're going to fight twice. Um, and then they're going to both be gone at 147. Um, if, if the rematch even happens, I, I think if Spence wins, I think he vacates and goes up to 54. And I think if Crawford wins, Spence goes to 154. So I, I don't think that this fight's going to happen. Uh, perhaps 
Um, if Crawford wins, he stays, and then maybe he fights Thurman. But again, Thurman fights once every three years. Crawford fights once a year. It's unlikely that that fight would happen, right? Just because of the timing of it, right? When you only fight once a year, things happen on it perfectly. And, and I guess Thurman doesn't even fight close to once a year. He fights every two years. A year and a half, two years is usually what he fights. Um, <laughs> but what it is, man, it's what it is. Um, so that's unfortunate, but if we get the fight, and it, it's looking like we are going to get that fight, it's a good fight, it's an interesting fight. I thought it's the fight I should have made with, with, with Spence on the shelf, with Garcia at 54. The fight made a lot of sense. Um, I, you know, I would like to have seen Boots, but Ugas, former world title, you know, it's less dangerous for Keith Thurman, and um, I. I don't mean that to disrespect Ugas. Ugas is an excellent fighter, um, and I think it'll be a good fight. But it, it's it's a, a former world champion and, and less of a risk to Keith Thurman, who's coming off a year and a half layoff. But you can't blame the layoff. This is all self-inflicted, right? Like, you choose to take a year and a half layoff. It wasn't like you had some kind of nagging injury, you had to have surgery, right? Like, you just chose to take a year and a half off. So when you just choose things like that, we just choose to take a year and a half off, you can't blame the layoff. Like, you shouldn't get tuna fights. And I'm not – this is obviously not a tuna fight. I'm not – suggesting that it is right um but if, if you're only gonna fight once a year make it a good once every year and a half two years make it a good one you know that's kind of my that's kind of my advice um ugas um you know, ugas has been more active as you, you know you, you certainly can't be less active than, than keith thurman i don't even know if keith thurman's a hall of famer and that's how much he's given away uh, but he fought once in 2022, once in 2021, twice in 2020, twice in 2019, twice in 2018, three times 20. You know, so he's been active outside of the last few years when all PBC fighters seeming to be, especially at welterweight and and, and their world champions at, at those middleweight classes. Jamel Charlo, Jamal Charlo have just been inactive. I don't know what's going on with that, um, but you know, Jamel Charlo doesn't fight. Jamal Charlo hasn't fought in over two years, so it's just getting interesting. It's it's getting interesting, uh, but this fight looks like it's going to happen. Um, again, great fight, uh, U- Ugas, master boxer puncher, right? Keith Thurman, athlete, skilled, high ring IQ, um, explosive. It's a good fight, you know. Uh, I, I'm leaning towards Thurman. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. All three boxing, three boxing blog, all from social media. I'm sorry, I'm so under the weather. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe for all three boxing, three boxing blog, all from social media. Quick hits come at you every day, eight to ten minutes a day, keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Please also subscribe to Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. Uh, if you're in the United States, have a happy Fourth of July in Texas. Our Independence Day is March second. Uh, so from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.